Hey, it's Nathan with crazyandmarketing.com, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the ClickFunnels 2.0 Style Guide. Now, the Style Guide lets you set default colors and fonts and other settings like button shape and so on. So that way, when you're designing your funnels and your pages, everything looks uniform. So everything's the same color, same size, same font, all that type of stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. We'll go to Sites right here, and we'll find our site, and we wanna click on this menu right here and you should see edit style guide. Now there's a couple other ways you could pop up the style guide as well. So if you see style guide anywhere when you're editing a page, for example, it'll bring you back to the same settings. And no matter where you adjust the style guide settings, it's going to adjust the style guide across your entire website. So that's just something to be aware of. And so if you get into the style guide through a different path than I just went through, just know it's the same exact thing. So anyway, on the left-hand side here, you can see the different options we have that we can go ahead and set default settings for. So the first thing, of course, is fonts. So we could go ahead and set our base font size right here, which is currently 24 pixels. And you can see if I change it, it moves you know, the example right there so I can get an idea of what my font will look like. We can select our headline font. And so we can do our font family and there's, I don't know, hundreds of fonts to go ahead and choose from. So you can choose what fits your personal business theme and so on. So a lot of options, of course, I'm not gonna go through all of them in this video or we'd be here for months. Uh, weight and so on, so you can change your font to thin or extra bold or you know whatever makes sense, letter spacing, sizes, and all that other type of stuff. And it does have a comment right here about mobile sizes. So mobile font sizing is automatically done for you. Toggle off automatic mobile type scaling on the topography index section of the style guide to customize your mobile type sizes. So if you're like, well, I don't know if I wanna let ClickFunnels automatically adjust the size, you could look, click this button right here and see how your fonts would look on a mobile device as well. So you can easily see like, okay, that looks that looks fine. I like how ClickFunnels automatically resizes the font for the mobile devices for me. So if it looks good, then you probably don't have to adjust anything. But if it doesn't look good, let's come back up to fonts right here. And you can see the option right here for mobile sizes. So automatically scale and handle my font sizes on smaller screens. If you turn that off, we now have different options. So if we look up here, we have base font size desktop right there, and then base font size mobile right there. So I can be like, okay, that's too big, or you know, I want it bigger on mobile devices and so on. So you can set custom fonts depending on device. And of course you can switch back your views just like that. So you can see how it looks different on different devices. So there's mobile extra large, but you can see when you go to desktop, it looks normal. So you can go ahead and adjust things manually. And then of course, if you click into the particular headline settings, you could see that there's the desktop settings. And then down here, there's now options for mobile sizes as well. So you can go ahead and really customize your settings and your views and all that other stuff. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and leave mobile size the default because I thought it did a good job scaling, but yeah, you can go ahead and change it if you don't like what it's doing. So coming back to the style guide then, we have colors next and we can go ahead and select our theme colors. So this is the default right here, but I wanna go ahead and use my Crazy Eye Marketing orange. And so I'm basically just gonna adjust all these blue colors real quick with my orange color. So there we go. Now, right here in the main area, you can see the different options. So there's lightest, light, colored, dark, and darkest. And as you can see over here on the left, we have the same names, lightest, light, color, dark, darkest. And so we can adjust the settings for each individual like section. So if we come to lightest background, we can go ahead and set different options. So if we want the lightest background base color to be different, we could go ahead and change it right here and we might actually have an overlay so let me change that and so yeah so there's an overlay right there so we could go ahead and change the lightest background to a different color if we want to go ahead and do that but basically what i usually do is i go through and i make sure everything looks okay so under the lightest settings all this stuff looks good i like the colors i might go ahead and change the link color to orange so that way it stands out a little more so i'll go ahead and select it right there and come back out Looking through my page, so this light section looks good. Again, I might want to change my link color to orange, so that way it's a little standout-ish. Coming over here to the colored section, I don't like the bullets right there. I think that they need to stand out a little more, so I'm gonna change my bullet color to white, so they stand out. And then my link, that's okay being white, we'll just leave it and so on. So basically I just go through all the different sections and make sure everything looks good and is readable and so on. So here in dark, the orange kinda 
blends in. So I might make that stuff the icon, I might make white, and the link I also might make white. And so setting these settings helps with the theme. So all of your ClickFunnels pages and funnel steps are gonna have a theme applied to them. And this just sets the default. Now you can override what you have on the pages manually. When you're creating the page, you can make it look however you want. If you don't wanna use these colors, you can go ahead and change them on pages individually. But it's a good idea to have set colors so that way when you're building your pages and your funnel steps and everything comes out looking uniform right away. And if you wanna change things later, you definitely can. So you you want to go through these steps and make sure everything looks how you want it. I'm going to go ahead and click on update and back to style guide. Then we have shadows here so we can go ahead and have different styles of shadow. So we have one which looks like this right here and of course you could go ahead and change you know how you want it to look. We can see that it's got a kind of reddish tint now. Let's see there that makes it more more showy more flashy and then over here if you want to change the shadow style two, you can go ahead and have a default shadow for style two and shadow three and so on. And so this just comes in handy again when you're building your pages. If you want to, you know, have the same shadow per each area or element or row, well then you can have default settings to make your life easier. And so I'm going to come back to style guide and we'll just go through these real quick. So border then. So if you want to have different borders, you know, that are standard, you can go ahead and set them up right here. You know, you want your border one style to look like this. Well, there you go. You can see what it looks like on mobile as well. So that way you can make sure it looks good on both devices. And I think you get that idea. These are just settings. And in the page builder video, you can see how these settings are applied. Also, when we're editing the theme, you'll see how these settings apply. I do find it really convenient that ClickFunnels 2.0 actually like helps you keep things uniform because in the ClickFunnels Classic, you had to manually make everything uniform, whereas this is a lot easier to keep all your funnels and pages looking the same. So I think it's very, very nice, but it does take a little bit of getting used to. So if you feel a little overwhelmed or like there's a steep learning curve, well, there kind of is. But once you get the hang of it, it, it does become second nature. Up next, we have the different buttons and it works very similar to the other options, the shadows and borders. We have buttons. So there's style one button, style two button, style three buttons. So if I want to change my style three because I don't want blue buttons, but these other ones, you know, they might work. I could go ahead and update these. So maybe I want a black button with, you know, yellow font. That's not really yellow, yellow font and a subtext color of white. I could go ahead and do that. And then there's, again, lots of different settings right here. We could change our margin tops and we can change our button button fonts. We can change our borders if we want to. We can go ahead and change our corners if we want to, make them more rounded. We could go ahead and enable a shadow if we want to and change how that shadow looks and the directions and all that other stuff. So very customizable buttons we can go ahead and create and there's no shortage of options. And again, you can check how it looks on a mobile device as well and be like, ugh, that looks awful. And you can go ahead and change your button then. I'm gonna discard those changes because I got a little funky with the buttons there. And then finally we have corners. So if you want to select some different corner styles, you can have corner style one, corner style two, and then corner style three, and so on. So again, just helps you create uniform looking pages when everything looks the same. And so that's pretty much it for the style guide, which is what you're gonna need for when you're creating your pages or editing your theme. And I hope you found this video helpful. And if I didn't cover something in this video that you're hoping to see, well, I have a bunch of different ClickFunnels 2.0 videos. So please head over to my channel and you can check those out. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And or please check out crazyeyemarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.